Welcome to meeting the counselor. My name is Amos Ben Ben Kebe, and I'm happy to be here to talk to you about something very, very important. Something absolutely very, very important. You want to build a solid foundation for your marriage. There are things you must never undermine. One of such things today is to go for pre-marital screening. Go for pre-marital tests. If you are going through counseling, I want to encourage you to go through pre-marital counseling. If you have never ever in your life done this test especially one of them i will encourage you to do it because it's going to be as a foundation for other tests are going to do don't become emotional with anybody to an extent where you don't know who you are medically okay it has frustrated a lot of people where you see a man where you see a woman Taking decisions that do not, do not, do not glorify God. Why? Because they have gone emotional. It is not the fact that you are in love. It is the fact that you have gone far in the relationship. For instance, if you go far in a relationship and you discover that your partner has a problem medically, you will settle with that problem not because you want to settle but because of emotions remember you are either logical or emotional but when it comes to love many people do not think they no longer reason why because once you fall in love there is a chemical that is released from your brain and it inhibit the reasoning part of your brain so you don't you are not able to reason again so be careful to get deep into relationship when you haven't done your pre matter screening there are many of them i'm going to give you just seven tests that you must make sure that you know genotype blood group human immunovirus which is hiv hepatitis b hepatitis c syphilis chlamydia and that is what i recommend you to do but here is something genotype is the most important that's why i put genotype the first why because genotype is electrophoresis it deals with another party if you are as and your wife is as then there's a possibility you can have a sickle cell child which is ss that child will grow to have a problem will be sick always all the time and at the end of the day you are going to be responsible that your stupid love is bringing pain into the life of somebody Okay, it may be a good love, I don't have a problem with that. But remember, the third party is going to suffer. And most time, people who have that issue actually say, God has asked them to go ahead. If somebody tells you God has asked you to go ahead, you don't have the chance to tell him not to go ahead because it's God who has spoken to him or oh, her. I want to tell you, please do your medicals. As a young man, right now, go and do your genotype. Don't get to lunch when you're asking, What was your genotype? I'm not doing it like. Go and do your genotype. Go and do your genotype. Go and do your genotype or electrophoresis. And you get to know whether you are A, AS, or SS. And that alone is a big help to your life and the life of the person who is going to be in love with you. Once again, God bless you and have a wonderful time. It's good because when you find yourself in marriage, people are victims. At times, people get to marriage don't even knowing the danger of STDs in their lives. A child is not forthcoming and the problem is STDs. I'm talking about laying a solid foundation for your life. Go and do it. If you are a nurse, go and do it. Go and do it. It's for your sake. It's for your sake. Thank you very much. It's, it's, it's awesome. When you do it, you see the results coming out. 
God bless you. It's been meeting the counselor. Meeting the counselor. Have a wonderful time as keep following so you can be able to get some keys that you can use to be able to build a solid foundation. God bless you. Of shine.